Hi everyone. In this short video I will show you how to control the color of the objects in the visualization of goddesses. To do so I have created a new project. Uh, it's uh, Initially it's an empty one, then I have added the visualization. In the visualization I have a deep switch here. I just want to control the value of the binary variable, the boolean variable. The boolean variable is called up here. And this, uh, as you already should know, this uh, deep switch is associated with this boolean variable pump. So it's PSC underline PRG that pump. Now, to show you how to change the color of objects using this boolean variable, I will use a rectangle. Then I will go to the properties of the rectangle. In the properties of the rectangle, if you have a look here, we have the colors. In the colors property, we have the normal state and the alarm state. For the normal state, I will select to have the fill color as green. So I will have the green as the normal working state for the color. Uh, I will keep the transparency like this. And for the alarm state, I will select the red punch. Then, by scrolling down, here in the, I have the property which is called color variables. In the color variable, the toggle color variable needs to be assigned to the same Boolean variable. Okay, so that's all that you need to do. But keep in mind that here I have shown only a rectangle, but it can be any. any uh, visualization option. Then I will uh, log into the. Yeah, I will do the login and then if everything is fine, I will be able to run the project. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it works. So here we, we see that we have a Boolean variable which is called pump. Initially it has the value of false. So if I change the the state of the Boolean variable from false to true, you can see that the uh, color of the rectangle here changes from green to red. And if I go back to the false, it will become true, uh, green again, and so on and so forth. So you can see that in this case, uh, with this property of the object, you can control the color of the object based on a given Boolean variable. I hope this would be helpful for you. I in, indeed I created this video because of a request coming from uh, one of my followers. I hope it would be useful for you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.